back here, got Cedar um, coming off of the weekend. Had a real nice weekend with her. Um, didn't really work on a whole lot of stuff. We went up north. Uh, she got to see, my mom and dad got to see her. She got to see them. She was very excitable up there. Um, just the environment of being back at her old house flipped a switch with her. Um, she struggled focusing um, quite a bit, but we got through it and we got through it by just kind of holding on. And, and when I say that, I mean, I didn't let her run around. I might have let her off the leash once or twice. I did take, I let her swim with me. I went in the water, swam. She came with me. She swims like a fish. Um, she's really got a nice little, she gets, she levels out really quickly and um, she doesn't swim funny. I've seen some young puppies swim a little funny until they get used to it. She's real natural. Um, she did a, she did a nice job. Um, I wish she would have settled in a little bit more, but it was changing environments. And I think that it's a good, good example and it's a good, um, reaffirms the idea of when you change spots, you can really throw these dogs off. She is settling in here really nicely. After a week of consistency here, she's settling in pretty good. Um, she's very nice right now. Now I've taken her three times down to the shop and back today and she's been a little bit of a knucklehead at times. She sees a butterfly now. She's really, she's still very easily distracted. Um, but I do think she's settling into our routine here at the house, um, which is good. And that's all I can ask for. It, t it does take time. She got a, had a really nice breakthrough on Friday. Um, maybe not her, but me. And so what we got her to do what we wanted her to do. And I had to do it very different than I've ever done it with any other dog before. And we talk about it in that video where I normally swing out and I'm very clear body language to him. And she really looks at it, I think, as a challenge. Um, when, when, and, and I'm gonna show you some things too. When I, when I try to recall her back when she's not on lead, she, a lot of times she'll get real close and then she'll like challenge me. It's vocal. She kind of barks at me a little bit and, and I, I'm not playing into that. I'm not allowing it to piss me off, although it, I want to, um, but I can't let her feed off the emotion that it's triggering in me. So I'm going against what I normally, you know, how I would naturally feel at that moment. I think it's disrespectful. And so what I'm doing is I'm not letting her get to me, but notice how well she sat here for the last however long. That's really good. Um, but I don't let her, I don't let her disrespect me. I don't let it bother me until I can get a hold of her. And when I get a hold of her, I firm up. And when I firm up, I think she understands very quickly that that's just a bad idea. Like, I don't think she does it to get me mad. I think she does it because it's a habit of hers and she's just used to being able to test and test and test and probably win most of the time. And so I have to figure out a way to make sure she's not winning these tests all the time. So it has to do with how I handle it, how I set it up. I couldn't face her and tell her to sit still and give her a remote sit. As soon as I did, it challenged her. She bucked back, growled, meltdown. We went through that on Thursday and actually my dad got to watch that video. He's, he's joined Instagram now uh, with my, my sister's help. And so he's able to watch these videos. And so he, he said, boy, you really had a hard time there. I'm glad to see that because that's what I go through all the time. And I said, yeah, but Friday went really good. And you didn't see, he didn't get to see that. He'll see it eventually when it loads. But, but Friday went really good. And it was the opposite of... Um, I took an opposite approach. Never have I done that with a dog before. I literally didn't want to look at her. I, I left my shoulder to her. So we're going to start that again today. Now I'm going to move because that was a really nice little stint of remote sit. We couldn't have gotten that out of her this weekend. Um, there was just too many things going on. There's a lot of stuff. There's nowhere near the distractions here that there were where we were this weekend. Heel. So one of the reasons I think she's getting good is because the setup we have here is minimal distractions and we're being very consistent. And when we're very consistent in a very controlled setting, it's a lot easier for her to form a good habit. And so that was a real temptation for her to go down and you could see her ears. She really wanted to grab that leaf and she, I think she thought twice about it and said, no, I'm probably not going to. Now I'm gonna, you're gonna notice a change in the hardware here. I'm using a different adjustable sit. I'm using our adjustable leader collar, sit down. I've switched because I can't find the chain. <laughs> I mean, I'm just being honest. I can't find the right size chain that we were using. I'm gonna find it. I do like it. I like it because it's got that audible 
um, it's got the sound to it. But I'm also going to see how she does with the adjustable leader because this is a much softer correction. I can't put nearly the snap to it. It's just the downside is, is you can't hear it. Cedar, cedar heel. But there I just moved away from where I got a nice little remote sit. sit. I'm actually going to start building in the whistle as well. So again, I'm not squaring up with her yet. I will eventually. Good. But because I don't face her and challenge her, I think she's cool with it. Good. And what she's doing is she's starting to learn the under, understand the behavior there. Ah, 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 ah. There's the there's a little bit of a challenge. When I start to get when I start to face her and give her a correction, she's about to go, no, 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 I'm not gonna. Good. She didn't, and she lost her tooth this weekend up here in the front. So that's looking better. So we're getting that, we're getting through that, and I can't wait to do, make a few more little retrieves with her. Heel. So I'm gonna incorporate the whistle. Sit. Good. Whistle really didn't do anything there. It just was interesting to her. You could see she responded with her ears. I don't even know if she knew where it came from. Good. I'm slowly facing her just a little bit more and getting a little bit more eye contact with her. Good. Because eventually I'm going to be able to do what I want to do, and that's face her and tell her. Getting better at the temp resisting the temptation to nip at me. Occasionally she will. But I'm getting down here and I'm able to touch her a little bit without getting her too, too set off. Heel. Sit. Good. So on lead right now, with no distractions, she's doing pretty good. Ah, easy, easy, easy. Sit down, come here. S sit down, good, good. I don't want, I, I do this exercise because I want her to get in the routine of putting this on and off without freaking out and going for hot laps, going and running away, good. Sit. That one was nice, except, come on. Go ahead. So I've been doing this a little bit. Sit. Firm up. Get what I need. Sit. So it's, it's boil over, boil over, boil over. A little too exciting. Get a correction. Get her to be where you need her to be. Slowly take this thing off. Good. Good. Sit. Sit. Good. That's the challenging there. She wants to challenge me there. I come back in and I get a hold of her muzzle. Now this takes a little coordination because you can't be fumbling around. If you're not smooth with it, it doesn't work. So I come in, I get a hold of the muzzle with that over my hand and I just slide it up and over. And so does she know she's loose? Yeah, I think she does. Good. Sit. And I'm not going to always sit. Ah, 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 sit down. I'm not going to always grab a hold of her like to keep her from running off. This is what I want. But at times if she gets nippy, bouncy, chewy, you saw me before, I grabbed a hold of her and I said, sit down. It's enough. Good. A little distraction, there's a car leaving. Good. We're doing the exact same thing we just did, not facing her and challenging her. We're doing it off lead right now. Good, good. And then we slip the lead back on. There, that was nice, good. I don't wanna get, my objective with this is get her, sit, to sit, to go on and off with this, with this without turning this into a big production. Sit. Sit, good, there. Good girl, good girl. And it goes on and off a couple times, sit, sit. It goes on and off a couple times without, without anything changing. It's just, I put it on, I took it off. It's no different than when a dog brings a dummy back to me and I give it back to them. 
and then they give it to me and then I give it back to them and they give it to me and they give it. We do that two or three times before I actually put it away. I want her to real, I want the dog to realize when I bring it back to him, he's not just stealing it away and hiding it from me. He might take it and give it back, take it and give it back. This, I'd like her to realize there's a behavior here. Sit next to him, whether I got a leash on or not. Sit, sit, ah, ah. you could see that temptation. Come on, come on, come on. Cedar. Now she's tracking something. Come on. Come on. Cedar. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. Come here. Good girl. Here. 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 Easy. Easy. Sit. Sit. Good. So she had to, she got that out of her system there. Good. We didn't panic. We didn't freak out. We didn't start hollering. We didn't start chasing. We're never using a shock collar. We're not putting pressure on her. She doesn't know what she did wrong there. What would shocking her have done? We don't use, I do not use a collar. There's really no reason to. If you train them, you don't really need one. It's not, and so some people are watching this series and probably wondering, well, when's he going to put a collar on it? I don't put collars on dogs. There's no reason to sit. I'd like to train them to understand behavior, expected behavior, and then form a habit. And not have stuff that, that the dog says, well, I have to listen now, but I don't have to listen when it's not on. No, you gotta listen all the time, sit. And we're gonna get you to do that by understanding that it's the behavior that we're looking for. Now this is gonna help us get there because it takes away some of that freedom so we can shape the behavior right. Good. Good. Very good. Now look at, I'm looking right at her. I'm facing her. I'm looking up at that bird. Good. Good. Good girl. I'm gonna come back in from the side with her. She acts, sit, sit. Too much, too much. Here, ha, na, 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 na. Come on, come on, come on. Good girl, come on. Right here, right here. Come on, come on. Cedar, right here. Ha, da, 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 da. Come on, let's go. Sit, right here. Sit, sit. Come here. Look at my one little lunge at her. I said, you better make sure you can get her. Well, I can't get her and look at what she does now. Just really, come here, really spun her. Sit, sit, sit. So if you miss her, look what happens. Shot her right through the roof. No rocks, come on, come here, come here, come here, come here, sit, come here, sit, sit, stop it. Good, yeah, probably long enough, enough. I can get a, see a little bit of boredom setting in with her. That's why she laid down. I wish it would have been, I wish she'd laid down because she f felt comfortable, Sit, but she didn't. Sit. She laid down because she's getting tired of this and she thought I'll chew on some gravel. So in order to counter that, whatever she wants to do, I do the opposite. You want to lay down? I'm gonna put you on a lead and we're gonna walk a little heel. Now the one thing that I do like too is her heel position is getting pretty good. We're gonna to start to challenge her to make her think a little bit in heel position by turning into her. So when I turn away from her, come on, we'll see how good she gets here. 
One correction there probably gets a change here. Good. Come on. There. She's got a nice little habit of being back. Come on. I'd rather have her, ha have her be a half step back than a half step in front. Come on. Come on. But now what we're going to do is start turning into her and surprising her. And she's out of position. Now, good heel. That was pretty good. First time we've ever done that. Good. See how she's backing up? It's really difficult for dogs to do this. It's do hard for them to lead with their back, their back legs. Good. She did a nice job there. Good. And the objective is you're going to watch the bend in her body. Watch how the bend in her body is. So her body is bent this way because the front always leads. That's just natural. I need this part to go this way. I need the bend to go the opposite way so that this part leads her and makes the turn the right way. It's real hard for a dog to figure that out. Take some coordination. Come on. And if she's in the way, I'm going to walk into her. So she knows she's got to move. Good. 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 There. Did you see how her body started to bend that way? The hind quarter led into the right spot. And when she did that, I stopped and I told her she was good. Come on. This is really making her think. She's going, how in the hell do I get out of the way of this guy? And as soon as she does, I let her know that's how you do it, just like that. Good. And as soon as she gets back into the right spot, let her know. Tell her she's good. If she doesn't turn, I'll back you right into the wall. Come on. She's got to figure out how to get, this is the wrong position for, there, there. Just about made it. Good, good, heel. Yeah. Keep her honest and go back the other way. So we're going from a simple right hand turn away from her. Come on. We're going a right hand turn away from her. She's used to it. It's easy for her to get there. Good, come on, come on, come on, come on. A little bit more pace too, because she wants to go slow. So a right hand turn away from her, she makes the turn. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good. To one into her, now watch the difference. Good, good, very good. Let her think about that. That last one, she was out of position. I had to use the lead to help bump her. I think I bumped her twice. Bumped her body so that when I walked into her, it, her angle was this way so the butt would spin. And so we, we got success out of it. It wasn't real voluntarily on her part, but I helped her by positioning her using this and using my legs and the timing of when to bump into her. And then she spun around and as soon as she spun around, I said, good, I petted her and she is ready for a break. Like she's exhausted right now because I forced her to really think. Now we're getting to a point where it's not just like simple muscle stuff. Now it's combine your muscle stuff with your head and make her think about it. And then when she thinks about it and it's done well, let her know, remind her, this is what you're supposed to do. And then it'll become, eventually it's, you don't have to think about it as much. You just start responding to it and reacting to it. And the natural, it'll become a little more natural for her. This is a very unnatural thing to walk backwards for a dog. It's real unnatural to lead with your hind quarter. It's real unnatural to bend that way they almost always want to bend the out the other way. And it's just very inefficient. Heel. See how she swings out? Good. Good. There. 
it took a little while. She swings out naturally. I don't allow it. I start moving her back, moving her back, moving her. It's a lot like backing up a trailer. And so when you back up a trailer, you don't turn the way you want to turn, it goes the opposite. So if she swings out this way, I'm going this way. And we're gonna get her to bend until that butt swings around. When the butt swings around, then move forward and push it back. Jackknife her, here. Come on, come on, come on. Good. Very good. Look how hard she tried. She hard, She tried so hard she fell down. She was that. She's not very coordinated. She's a puppy. Look at the love I'm giving her right now. Good. Because she tried awful hard. She didn't try to. She didn't do it perfectly. But it's not because she didn't want to or was trying to do what she wanted to do. It's because she hasn't done it that often. But she was trying. Good. Good. And I want to finish her out in that right, in the proper position. See how she's kind of just fading off there at the end? Sit. Now she's way out in front. Sit. Now she's confused. Let her regroup a little bit here mentally, and then we'll end it on a positive note. Good. I can mix this back in. Good. Sit. 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 Good. We can mix this in here. Go back to something that we were doing pretty good before. Break it up a little bit. Good. So that's a nice little progression. That's a nice little progression in two days. To not being able to do this at all, to doing it pretty well on lead, now doing it off lead. <laughs> at a much greater distance. Ah, ah, ah. I gotta be careful here because this is gonna look challenging to her. Now we're gonna put this back on. Look to get a nice turn out of her and I'll be done. Yeah, come on, good. Just that little break gives her a little more pep in her step. You can see it. Good. Sit. And way better eyes too. So that time we came off of that. She was watching me really intently. We came in, we swung around, we made a nice turn. Heel. Really good. And I would end it on that. I'll just, that's a nice, that's a good little heel work. Sit. Sit. It's, we introduced some new things. We built off of what we were doing. We extended it a little bit. We went off lead with it. We got the lead on and off several times there that were really good. We had a couple times where it got a little loose, but that's okay. We're working through it. It used to be every time we took it off, it turned into a race. And then we're getting her used to this back, just changing the way things get done around here. Sit. Eventually, she's not going to even stand up. Sit. Sit. Because she's going to go, well, this is, we do this all the time. Good girl. So we'll put her up, and that's it for today. Good. Yeah.